All right, it's time to practice some coding, and your instruction says practice these problems by making a project and coding them in, uh, but you're a bit like, whoa, I don't know what that means. How do I start? Here's how you can start. Basically, go to NetBeans, go File, New Project, Java Application. Give it a good name. Um, I know Skill Mill 1. Create a main class. Yes, but take that out. Okay, no package needed for this. Let's just make the class itself. Skill mill one, hit finish. I'll take out the comments. Whoops, I took out a little too much there. There we go. And what you have here is you got skill mill one. Now First set of practice problems also involve a little bit of user input. So let's go grab the user input class and add it to our project. So what I'll do is, if you've downloaded that user input class, all you have to do, whoa, sorry guys, is just go grab user input, drag it into the source folder with your class you just made. Come on, drag. And there it is. And now when you want to use your user input, you can just use it like we used it in the last uh, sample video. And so all you have to do now is, let's say your problem was ask the user for a number and double the number. Okay, that's our big task. You can just write this out, okay? Double number problem. Just a little comment there. And I could go integer num is user input dot get integer enter a number to double it's gonna grab that number from the user now let's do a little bit of doubling oh I haven't taught you how to double so let's not do that let's do uh, enter a number to add I'll make a second variable number two instead this is a better problem And then once they've answered that second number, let's just get the answer. Num plus num2. And show the user. The sum is answer. Now, no red lines. That's a good sign to start. I'll just give it a quick run. I'll say 1 plus 2 is. And it tells us the sum is 3. So, once you've done this and, you know, you test it a whole bunch of times, you make sure it totally works under all circumstances, you're happy, you say, well, that's great, that problem is a success. What you can do for now, which is simple for beginners, is you can actually just wrap this up in comments. And an easy way to wrap this whole thing up in comments is slash star. And then at the very end, star slash. And you'll see what it's done there is it's basically commented out that whole block of code. So that's no longer part of the program. If I run it now, you know, nothing happens. That's a nice little program. You ever want to run it again, just take out your comments there. And then you could get started on the second one. So you don't have to make a whole new project for your second problem. Just start coding problem two, right? Practice problem number two. And just start coding away. And then you can test each one individually, just like that. Okay, so that's a nice, easy way for the beginner to get started. We won't be doing this too much. You know, in another class or two, we're going to learn different ways. But for now, this is perfect for getting up and running super quick. Code all your problems into this one file. Perfect. Get to it. Go practice and get good.